And as you step off that bridge and get your bearings, I want you to look down at your feet and just tell me the first impression. Do you see anything on your feet? Dirt. Dirt. Mm -hmm. And do you have anything on your feet? Any shoes or are they barefoot? Barefoot. They're barefoot. Mm -hmm. And as you look down there, I want you to tell me the ground that you're on there. Soil and tree roots. Soil and tree roots. And you'll just have a knowing whether you're inside or outside. Outside. You're outside. Is it day or is it night where you are? Day. It's daytime. And as you connect with the body now that you're in, bringing this journey forward, this life that you have. I want you to connect with the body and tell me, do you feel that you're male or female? Male. You're male. Mm -hmm. And how old do you feel? Are you 10, 50? About 30. You're about 30. And if you're 30 years old, you'll know what people call you in that life. Listen out for that name. What's the first impression that you hear? Well, I want you now to just glance to the left and the right so that you can observe your landscape. And describe to me where you are. Uh, just at the foot of a wood. Mm -hmm. Looking and down. Foot of a wood, looking down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And do you feel that you're on your own or do you sense that you're with other people? On my own. You're on your own. I want you to connect with your senses, your all knowing, and tell me what are you doing in those woods on your own there? Why are you there? Uh, are you going somewhere or are you coming back from somewhere? And you say that you're looking down at the foot of this wood. Mm -hmm. I want you to follow that scene now. See yourself walking around in this woodland. What's the purpose of you being in that woodland? Are you looking for food? Or are you going for a walk? I'm just observing. Observing. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've got loincloth. Loincloth? Mm -hmm. Well, I want you now to connect with that journey. And I want you to consider the country that you're in. And I want you to give me that message now. What country do you feel that you're in? Is it a warm country or a cold country? Cold. A cold country. Knowing that you can use your all-knowing now. What country is that? What country comes to mind? Canada. Canada. Mm -hmm. Totally detached from any pain, fear or emotion. You're able to just observe the scene now. And as I touch your leg, I want to take away that from you. You're just observing the scene as if you're watching a movie. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tap you on the forehead in a moment. And when I tap you on the forehead, you'll see some numbers come to mind. And those will be the year that you lived there in Canada. Nice and calm and steady. This journey is really important to you. So I'm going to count from three to one. Three, two, and one. What year is it there? 
13, 49. 13, 49. Tell me why are you getting emotional? What is it that you're feeling? Describe this feeling that you're you're getting inside. Mm -hmm. Do you sense that you're alone there? Yeah. Okay. I want you to connect with that emotion and tell me why that emotion has been brought forward. What are you observing just, there? Just remembering the just remembering the land. Remembering the land. Mm -hmm. So what do you do on that land then in Canada? What's your role? Are you part of a group or a tribe? See yourself going towards now your family or your group. Just go drifting and floating with your mind now. And describe to me what you see. Do you have family in that life? Uh huh. A wife. A wife. Long black hair. <laughs> Long black hair. Yeah, and a baby son. And a son. Mm -hmm. And as I put my hand on your leg now, let's just take away that sadness. And I want you to look at your wife and see the love and the joy that you have for her. Uh huh. <laughs> and as you look at your wife, I want you to look into those eyes because the eyes are the windows to the soul. And you can connect spiritually, mind to mind, and soul to soul. And as you look into the eyes of your wife, tell me, is she in your life today? Who is she? You don't know. Mm -hmm. And what about your son there? You say you have a baby son. What did you call him in that life? Look into his eyes and connect with his soul. And tell me, is he working with you today? <laughs> Who is he? He's not here today. I want you to take me to the place where you live. So as you take that on board, I want you to travel to where you live with your wife and your family. And I want you to be there now and describe to me where you live. Uh, live on a on a mountain side of a patch of big patch of grass. You live on a mountain side? Looking down on a lake through pine trees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And do you live alone with your wife or do you live in a group? I think it's a small group. It's a small group. Mm -hmm. And what's your role? What kind of job do you do as part of that group? Just hunt. You hunt. Mm -hmm. Is your group called any particular name? Does it have a name? Mm -hmm. What kind of things do you hunt? See yourself hunting now. Deer. You hunt deer. Mm -hmm. And do you trade with these deers? So. Well, what I want you to do now is I want you to close that scene just as if you were flicking the switch in a remote control and close that scene but stay in the same 
lifetime if you can and I want you to go drifting forward in that timeline to another significant time when something else is happening to you. So when you're ready, closing that scene now, just allow your mind to go drifting and floating forward. Drifting and floating forward to another significant time in that life when something is happening and be there now. And tell me, how old do you feel now? 45. You're 45. Look around your landscape and tell me, are you still in the same place? No. Describe it to me, where are you? Yeah, we're lower down uh, open land. Uh -huh. So why have you brought me to this particular scene. Describe to me what's happening. I'm looking from the outskirts into, it's a bigger village now. Mm -hmm. Teepees. Teepees. Uh -huh. So are you an Indian? I think just... <laughs> As I take that away from you, just take that scene for what it is. Totally detached now. <laughs> Just remotely viewing. And describe to me what's happening in this scene. <sighs> Not for the minute, but I feel we're going to get attacked. You're going to get attacked. Uh -huh. So what I want you to do is I want you to lift your soul above the scene now. <sighs> lift your soul above the scene, knowing that this is a past life journey and you survived that memory. Yeah? Who's attacking you? Soldiers. Mm -hmm. Seeing that scene unfolds, tell me, do you survive the attack? Well, I want you to feel that memory unfold before you, just as if you were watching a movie. And see the outcome of that attack. And do you and your family escape? Oh, I think I'm, I'm not, I think I survived looking at the burning. Things have burnt out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And tell me, what's your role in that group? Are you a chief or are you just part of the tribe? Just part of it. You're part of a tribe? Mm -hmm. So what happens after that? Do you make your travels on your journeys or do you rebuild that village? Just stuck there. You're stuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want you to look around and see if there's anybody in your group that you're more affiliated to than the rest. Look around your group and see if there is anyone there that you connect with more than the rest. Who are they? God. They're gone. <sighs> so as you begin to re re rebuild your life there now, uh, knowing that you survived that scene, <laughs> did your wife and children survive that? No. So they died? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Knowing that they've gone back to spirit. <laughs> knowing that you can connect with them. I want you to close that scene now. Close that scene now. That's right. And I want you to now take me 
to the last day of that life. So close that scene now and allow your mind to go drifting <laughs> forward now. See yourself floating down that timeline, drifting and floating towards the last day of your life. And I want you to be there now. How old are you now? Seventy. You're seventy. Mm-hmm. And tell me, do you feel that you're alone? Or there are other people around? Ooh. You're alone. Uh-huh. Are you dying of old age or are you ill? Old age. Mm-hmm. So what I want you to do now, I want you to take a nice deep breath in and as you breathe out, I want you to step your soul to step out of that body. Just lift yourself out of that body now and I want you to be about three foot above the body there just so that we can evaluate that life and tell me yeah. What was the purpose of that life? What did you learn in that life? I learned to be at one with nature. To be one with nature. Mm -hmm. Very good. And how do you feel that you did in that life? Do you feel that you achieved what you needed to achieve? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do now is, it's normal at this time that someone or something comes to collect you to take you back home. So as I continue to talk to you, you'll see that someone or something, it could be a symbol or a person, or just an energy, getting closer and closer, coming towards